Our first stop of the day after a little bit of a, I missed the ramp, passing a couple of lorries, and then we um, uh, followed the GPS and the overpass was closed. So George found us a way back onto the motorway. Here we are at a rest stop uh, eating, or done eating. And we're gonna do five countries in five hours. And you'll get video evidence of all of it. Here we have the ever beautiful Shannon at the Netherlands sign, which means the Netherlands. And we're at the border of Germany and the Netherlands at this little rest stop right here. I don't know on the Autobahn here if the speed limit is unlimited or not because I don't know what the sign is that says unlimited, but we had some people zip past us pretty quick and we are doing 120 or 130 kilometers an hour. So I don't need a photo radar ticket. So anyway, here we are at the stop, Netherlands. There you go. And we'll see what's next. Our next stop of the day finds us at the Three Points, which is where Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany meet. You see there's uh, stuff here isn't quite open. We're in the shoulder season here at the end of September, and uh, it, uh, not everything is open every time. But the actual marker is not right there. I believe that the actual marker is right over here where this couple is. Right there. We're going to stop and take a couple of pictures, like the shameless tourist that we are, and we'll press on to something else. There's something about the marker where it shows on the crown and, the, and one of the German signs of the lion that we see in, a lot in Germany in the, in the year 1843. And then the um, concrete um, stanchion on the right shows 1928. Uh, and Hugesplint von Netherland means something, but he's the hell out of me what. So we're here. It means something. We just have no clue what it means. And we'll see what's next. Our next stop finds us outside the town of Foy in Belgium. And I wanted to say something about the last shot that George uh, told me afterwards. That spot where the three countries meet used to be, prior to the, uh, prior to the unification of Germany in 1870, that used to be where four countries met. And then when the Germans unified in 1870, it became a three-country spot. Now we're at the spot where... Um, and a monument has been erected to E Company of the 101st Airborne Division, the Band of Brothers, as you may have seen on HBO. They were, some of them were caught in the forest here during the Battle of the Bulge, and the Germans uh, got some of them. And here's the sign in English. Well, a little bit of English, Jack's Wood. Boy is wood or bois. I worked with a guy named Joe Dubois. Now I see what it means. Anyway, we are in the woods, kind of, sort of. It's uh, cooled off a little bit. This is what I thought the weather would be. So we're going to take a little close up of the uh, monument and we'll see what's next. Brave men sacrificed their every their very lives for the cause of freedom and their sacrifice should never, ever, ever be forgotten. Our next stop of the day finds us at the Belgium-Luxembourg border. You can still see some of the standing forests that our brave troops fought the Battle of the Bulge in. All the American generals said all the Germans won't attack uh, armor through the forest, and they were wrong. Not like they were going to eventually win the war, but they were trying. Uh, Germans are at least trying to get a, a little bit better settlement than total surrender, which is what they did. So there's our Luxembourg sign. There's my three traveling family members. Here's our 360 of the border. We're going to take some stills. And then we are going to see what else is in this beautiful, beautiful neck of the woods. 
We're in the town of Baston in uh, Belgium, and here is a uh, Belgian post office box. And here we are in the downtown square of Baston. I admire these truck drivers who drive on these really narrow roads. They're skilled, that's, that's for sure. And here's our 360 at downtown.